Hi guys, this is Vinayesh Sharma and in this session we will discuss about the Microsoft Excel. In this introduction session we will discuss what is the actual Microsoft Excel, what is the use of this one and in which fields we can use the Microsoft Excel. What is the Microsoft Excel? Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet program used to record and analyze numerical and the statistical data. It means we can use the Microsoft Excel sheet for reporting purpose. We take the data from some resource and then we can analyze the data and we can create the report from the data using the, our Excel spreadsheet. It's a very very powerful tool and the different kind of operation can be done like the calculation, pivot table, graph, tools, macro programming and others operation too we can do on this Excel sheet. Microsoft Excel sheet we can call it as a collection of the column and row. It's like a table, 2D table, where we have the row and columns. It means we can display the data in row and columns. Why to use the Microsoft Excel? You can use the Microsoft Excel for the following purpose. Analyzing. For analyzing the data, you take some data and then analyze the data. Then data entry. For simply use of some data, you can enter the data and in Excel sheet and then maintain that one and perform some activity like the add, edit, update on the Excel. Then we have the data management and the accounting even for the accounting purpose you can use the Microsoft Excel sheet. For the budgeting, data analysis, visual and graphs. Suppose you want to display some graphs and visualize the data in visual form then you can create the graphs in Excel C. Programming using the VBA. You can use all the functionality of the programming in the Excel C. And finally, we have the financial modeling. Using the data, you can create the data model for the financial purpose. Now, we check the basic function and the options in Excel C. So when you open the Excel C, then we get this kind of page and you can check. First of all, we have the menu option and this is called the ribbon tab. In ribbon tab, we have the another ribbon bar. In ribbon bar, we have the collection of the option related to that ribbon. So we have the file, home, insert, page layout, formula, data, review, and view. So first of by default, it is file, and this file of option contains like save, save as, open, new print, and other options. Then we have the home. If we click on the home, so in the below, we have the ribbon bar and different option. So we can use the home tab for like changing the font, resizing the font, coloring the text and editing the cells. Then we have the insert. Insert basically is used to insert the tables, pivot table, images, clip art, charts, link and others. We can use this page layout for configuration of the our page size. We can set the top and bottom margin and we can see and change the layout of this horizontal and vertical also we can change the orientation of the page horizontal and the vertical then we have the formulas in formula when you click so it shows the list of the formulas basically formula is a library library of the inbuilt function in the microsoft excel so we can use this formula for the purpose of the calculation of the data then we have the data in data suppose we want to remove the duplicate data or we want to import the data from different resource then when we can use the data and then review in the review we can use this option for spelling check or translating the text and it helps to protect and share the worksheet and workbook then we have the view in the view we can preview the page also we can show and hide rulers grid lines and freezing the panes and also we can use the macros using the view. Now we talk about the cells. So by default, when we open this access sheet, so by default, we have a rectangle on the first cell. So if we see that this rectangle, this is called the active cell. So by default it's a, and we have the, in the left side, we have the row number one, two, three, four, five, and the, on the top, we have the column number, A, B, C, D, E, F. This is our address bar. When you move this rectangle, this address bar shows the current position of your active cell. So by default it D1 and in the current selected rectangle we have a dot. This is called the fill handle. 
for filling the data we can use this handle then we have a formula bar to insert the formula in the current active cell then we can type the formula in this bar and now we have the in the bottom sheet so by default it creates the name of this sheet is the sheet one but we we can rename the, this sheet later on also we can create the duplicate of, of this sheet and we can create more new sheets using this option so guys this was all about the introduction about the microsoft access sheet thanks for watching the video